Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Glory Hunter with Nice. Today we take on relegation threatened Bordeaux as the winter window comes to a close. We still have a few more days to do business and we've done some so far. Let's take a look at the new additions. But in order to talk about the new additions, we need to talk about the departures first of all. So Arthur Cabral has joined Flamenco for £1.2 million. £1.2 million was the same as we got for Thierry Carrera. He has joined Victoria Gamares. Warren Harrell, Regen, has gone to Eintracht Frankfurt for £6.5 million. Pounds. And Milan Skriniar has joined Slovan Bratislava. He was out of contract in the summer so we just got him off the wage bill 42 grand he was on which is crazy for a 36 year old man who wasn't really doing anything but anyway we have bought in three new additions so far let's make them and you know i said i was going to concentrate on forward thinking players well we've got a couple of defensive players as well joe scally has joined us from newcastle on loan with an option to buy him at the end of it Always looked at him, to be brutally honest. Never pulled the trigger. Now I have. Definitely a better option at right and left back. And the USA international is fitting in really well so far. We return to Atletico Madrid to go and get Andre Amaro. I thought we needed a centre-back that could do what we needed him to do. And he's played how we've played before. So it was really a no-brainer to get him from Atletico when I found out he was on the list. And the last man in the door for now at least is Ranwal Kolo Buwani from Arsenal for five and a half million pounds. Now I know what you're thinking, 33 years of age, why have you paid five and a half million pounds for him? It's a bit like when Tottenham had Fernando Llorente. He's a man that can come on and he can change a game. He has done so already. Gives us a focal point at the top of the pitch as well. We are still looking for one more. And with three, four days to go, we will hopefully achieve it. So following that draw with PSG last time around, we've had a good month of January. So we started off by beating Toulon by five goals to one. A hat-trick for Rigo in Seco and Diop with the other goal. Then we beat another minnow in the French Cup. And that was Fury 91, Luis, Rigo and Yalmaz with the goals. We had a hard fought draw against Real Sociedad. We probably should have won the game in the end, but alas, we did not. But we did pick up our first win in the league since we have taken over Luis and Moanu with the goals. And last time around, we were beaten late on at the Bernabeu. We lost to Real Madrid thanks to Vinicius Jr. Let's see what that's done to our Champions League hopes. And it means we have made it through in the playoff round by the skin of our teeth. Two goals is what's got us through to replace RB Leipzig, which is a surprise that they have missed out. So yeah, we are through. We'll find out the draw for that next time around. We know the draw for the 11th round of the French Cup. The Orients are our opposition in Ligue 1. We haven't played that many more league games since we've last been together. 28 points for us, just outside those European places at the moment. Bordeaux are very much in peril at the bottom, where they have 13 points from their 19 games played so far. So they are very much in a relegation battle with Brest, with La Havre, with Lyon, and probably Nantes as well. Let's have a look at the teams for this one with Bordeaux. So here are the two starting lineups as we start with Labrovic in goal. Scali, Todbo, Amaro, Ogdogi, Miramon, Luis, Diop, Rigo, Yalmaz with Mouani leading the line as Bordeaux start with Christensen in goal. Bolecki, Aduay, Cordoba, Estepina, Azkilden, Zarate, Koliosu, Fermin, Solomon with Saikado leading the line for them. Now, it was very sad news to hear that Bordeaux were giving up their professional licence. A club with a decorated history in France, bringing through so many good players over the years. Hopefully, they will find their way back. 
But they are in a relegation battle in this save. And they've got Fermin in their team as well. Remember him? Didn't play anything for Atletico Madrid. So that was a bit of a clangor on my part. I saw a potential to bring in a player for nothing. And I think they sold him for like 5 million in the end. So, you know, you're welcome. We are going to move on to positive. We are at home to Bordeaux today. Let's impose ourselves on them. Solomon into Cordoba. Plays it up the line looking for Estepina. Will he get in behind? No, it will go out of play. Estepina with a throw. Throws it towards Solomon. Plays it into the area. Been a bright start from Bordeaux. Five minutes in. Ball back with the goalkeeper. Sends it into... Oh, almost picked it up in midfield. Can we pinch it high? Yes, we can. As Rigo picks it up. Drives into the penalty. And gets the shot away. Good save from the goalkeeper. First shot in anger from us this afternoon. Might have been better to square it to Mawani, perhaps. But we will see what happens from the corner. Luis is going to take it. Just attack it, boys. That's all I ask you to do. It's headed away. Rigo will pick it up. Rigo tries to find Yalmin into the centre. Cordoba hits it behind. Destiny is in completely the wrong place. Amaro plays it into the centre. And it's a good save again. Starting to turn the screw. Come on. Let's get our first win on a live come, shall we? Diop with the corner from this side. Can he find a teammate? Ball in towards the area. Amaro will keep it alive. Diop again. Towards Yamin on the edge of the box. Have a shot. I mean, it opens up. There we go. Rigo has a shot. Maybe don't have a shot. Just saying. A Dougie with the throw. This is what I wanted from us today. Be on the front foot. Be aggressive. Maramon goes back into Todd Bow. So everybody inside the Bordeaux half at the moment. Scally. Trying to go around the outside. Plays it back into Miramon. Cross into Topbo. Luis through to Mawani. Hold that up. Finds, oh, almost finds Scally. Almost. As they go long down the field. We're still using the orange ball. I get it's probably because of the month of the year we're in. As Yamaz comes away. Gets away from another. Great run from him. Plays it into the center. Keep it alive. Diop into Scally. It's got to go low. He might get a shot away himself. He finds Diop. Probably should have shot himself. Cordoba came across and shot the angle away. But we are getting it back quicker than they can get it away at the moment. Can we find this goal? Diop into Scali. Have a shot. Oh, for the love of God. Yalmaz has a shot deflected. There's a corner to Bordeaux. This will be the sucker punch. We had so many chances there in that five minute or so period. Ball in towards the back post. Will we hit them on the counter? We might with Rigo. Run well. He's got Mwani down the centre with him. He's got players in support. He tries to find Mwani. He finds Mwani. He scores. Flag is up. And I think he went early. We might be all right, but I think he went early. And indeed he did. Never mind. Good finish, though. Shows we can open them up. Should he have played it? Oh, I mean, he was miles offside when he played it. If he'd have played it a little bit earlier, he probably would have made much difference. Samuel Solomon has come off. Adia has come on for him. It's a free kick to us. Rigu into Yama. Shoot! Oh, good save from the goalkeeper. It opened up. And when it opens up like that, you've got to have a pop. Can we do anything from the corner? Luis with it. Ball in towards that near post. Topo rises, but he heads it over the bar. Cross into Luis. With Dogi again. On towards Rigu. Plenty of space for him to run into. Finds Moani. He's offside again. And that is half time. Nil nil. We've had the better of it. Just need to find this goal. Moani needs to keep onside, I think is the message I'll give to him at half time. Watch your line, son. It's not that difficult to look along the line and see. Oh, there's a Bordeaux defender in front of me. There we go. Is that better? No, he's, he's offside again. <laughs> oh, dear. Free kick. Rigu with it. Over the top of the wall on the bar. And it's hit the bar. Can we keep it alive? Yes, we can with Amaro. The goal has finally come. 55 minutes gone. And Fennessy's unlucky not to score, Rigu. 
It's a wonderful free kick from that distance. He's so unlucky. But we are the quickest to react. And we finally take the lead. Has been coming. But sometimes when it's coming, it just doesn't arrive, does it? But it has thankfully arrived. Right. We're going to make a couple of changes before this free kick is taken. We're going to take off Mawani. We're going to bring on in Seco for him. We're going to take off Yao Maz. And we're going to bring on Miten. Not been impressed with Miten at all so far, by the way. He has had a shocker. As Riku with the free kick towards the back post. Looking for Luis, but it's wide of the post. Scally with the throw. On towards Diop. Round the corner. Find a teammate. Ball in towards. Looking for Nseko. See, that's the ball that should have been coming in when Moani was there. Never mind. Christensen sends it long. We're going to win the header in the air. We've won everything at the back today. Bordeaux have been very blunt up front. Which is good for us. Because we have missed a hatful of chances. Scally coming down the right. Plays it back into Miramum. On towards Diop. Will he get a shot away? He'll find Matai. There we go. Third goal of the season for him. That's better. Much better. I mean, it was probably one he couldn't miss. But at least he took the shot. Unlike his teammates earlier on in the game. We have the second goal. We have our first win on a live comp, folks, as manager of Nice, at least. Right, now we can make a couple of more changes. Now we've got that second one. So Rigo is going to come off, and we're going to bring on Keita. We're going to take off Luis, and we're going to bring on Gulwani. We'll swap those two around. We'll swap those two around. The opt down the centre now for the final 15 minutes. Other than not taking our chances today, it's been a good performance. We've been on the front foot. It's how I want us to play going forward. And if we can continue like this, there may well be a title challenge next season. It's definitely not going to come this season. And that is full time. Nice win it by two goals to nil. It took us a while, but we eventually broke the door down with a goal from Amaro and Miette with the other one. And that win does move us up into the European places, which is great to see. We are not far away from those Champions League places as well now. Just the 18 points behind PSG. So what we will do, we will take on the Orient in the French Cup. We'll take on Guncamp, the two legs against our knockout playoff round opponent, Montpellier. And we will come back for Monaco next time around been to monaco it's a lovely part of the world the principality can we pick up a win away from home thank you so much for watching today's video if you've enjoyed it please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time goodbye